नमस्ते प्रणाम गीता ध्यान पार्थय प्रतिबोधिता भगवता नारायणी न स्वयं व्यास न ग्रथिता पुराण मुनिना मध्य महाभारत अद्वैतामृतवर्षिणी भगवती अष्टादशाध्यायि अंबत्वासंदा भगवदीतेषिणी ओ भगवदगीता विथ विच लॉर्ड नारायण हिमसेल्फ गेव एनलाइटनमेंट टू अर्जुन द एंशन सेज व्यास इंक्लूडेड इन द महाभारत ओ गॉडेस शावर ऑफ द निक्टर लाइक नॉलेज ऑफ नॉन डिजम कंटेंट इन योर एटीन चैप्टर्स ओ माई अफेक्शनेट मदर द डिस्ट्रॉयर ऑफ री बर्थ आई मेडिटेट अपॉन दी कृष्ण वसुदेव सुत देव कंस चाणूर मर्दनम देवकी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गुर सन ऑफ वसुदेव द स्लेयर ऑफ कंस एंड चाणूर एक्सट्रीम डिलाइट फॉर मदर देवकी ओ लॉर्ड कृष्ण द सुप्रीम टीचर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स माई सैल्यूटेशन स्ट्रीम श्रीमद भगवद गीता अवर रीडिंग ऑफ द सिक्सटीन अध्याय दैव असुर दैवासुर संपत् विभाग योगद डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द टेंडेंसी ऑफ द डिफाइनली ओरिएंटेड पीपल एंड द डेमनिकल पीपल Now, Sri Krishna has uh, already told us in uh, quite quite uh, uh, detailed about those twenty six uh, traits of uh, the people who are divinely oriented. How these people, how these beings, hmm, they they are on the path of uh, liberation, becoming one with the Purushottama, becoming one with the Paramatman. and the others the demonical ones sri krishna has just pointed those six uh, attributes the demonical traits the evil traits that uh, uh, keep uh, people into this cycle of birth and death and never uh, allows uh, those beings to get onto the path of liberation to get onto the path of uh, uh, spirituality they can never become spiritual aspirants for that matter and rather than be, be, being neutral that okay if they are not doing any good let them remain not doing good as it is but no they have the tendencies they have the uh, inclination of doing bad and evil and immoral so this is what happens with the uh, asura type of people and therefore uh, shri krishna in the last shloka that uh, he uh, told arjuna that look arjuna there are these two types of people uh, in this uh, creation in this world hmm? loke asmin dvau bhuta sargo hmm? two types of people bhuta sargo is types of people and how many types two types of people dvau bhuta sarge loke asmin daive asura evacha and which are those two types one is the divinely oriented who are on the path of liberation who are going to merge with the ultimate one and the other one is with the demonical tendencies or with all the evil ways with all the wretched ways दैव असुर एव च देव विस्तरश प्रोक्त आई हेव टोल्ड यू इन डीटेल्स अबाउट वॉट आर दीज डिवाइन टेन्डन्सीज दैव विस्तरश विस्तरश इज इन डीटेल्स दे आई हेव बीन एक्सप्लिसिटली आई हेव टोल्ड यू अबाउट दीज ट्रेड्स ऑफ द डिवाइन पीपल पीपल हू आर Uh, follow treading the path of uh, spirituality and moving towards liberation daivo vistarasha prokta asuram parthameshunu now partha now arjuna now listen now hear about these demonical tendencies while uh, shri krishna has uh, in short it just uh, uh, narrated hmm, those uh, six uh, attributes of uh, the demonical tendency people with the uh, evil tendencies hmm? uh, the the dambha darpa abhiman krodha parushyam and adnyanam 
these uh, all these uh, adjectives hmm, all these traits but now shri krishna wants to tell us further in details now why he wants to tell us in details because shri krishna wants to give this cautionary note to the devotees that beware of these tendencies never get trapped in these uh, descriptions of the demonical people that i am going to tell you be aware of it be always cautious of grabbing any of these tendencies Ga- grabbing uh, picking up any of these evil tendencies while uh, trading this path of uh, uh, the, the the creation if you remain away from picking these demonical tendencies only then there is a chance for your liberation that's what shri krishna intends to tell now let us see in this uh, seventh shloka that having told that okay there are two types of people the divinely oriented and the demonically oriented now what shri krishna has to tell about the demonical ways in this seventh shloka pravrittim cha nivrittim cha janana vidura suraha na shaucham na pichacharo na satyam teshu vidyate shri krishna says that these people who are on the path of uh, evil doing who are on the path of this uh, uh, the, the 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 wretched doing the immoral path hmm? the 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 asuri path the demonical path what they do pravrittim cha nivrittim cha jana na vidura suraha these asuras hmm? these demonical people they don't know na vidura jana these people these people of the demonical tendencies they do not know what they do not know pravrittim cha nivrittim they don't know what is the difference what is action what is inaction they don't have this concept of karma yoga at all karma yoga teaches us to do every act with the selfless spirit that action these people they don't know even they don't know how to remain inactive akarmana hmm? that is nivrutti now nivrutti is uh, not uh, uh, basically it is inaction not performing any action but that doesn't mean nivrutti doesn't mean not performing action out of laziness no not performing action out of uh, inertia out of jadatva out of that tamoguna that is not nivrutti we see people sometimes just sitting idle doing nothing that is not nivrutti that is jadatva that is inertia nivrutti is getting detached from doing that work get detaching our selfless uh, i mean our, our selfish motive detaching our selfish motive from doing that work is the nivrutti people may be engaged in so many activities but they are working in a selfless spirit and they say i am not doing anything in spite of in the midst of severest of activities these people these people can claim i am not doing anything i am inactive i am actionless that is nivrutti so shri krishna says these people of the asuri tendencies these people of the demonical ways Hmm? they don't know what is action what is inaction hmm? the demonic not know what to do what to refrain from what should be refrained what should be done and what should not be done that also they don't know they don't know what is right what is wrong they don't know what is a good conduct what is a bad conduct they they, they can't differentiate for them even a bad conduct is a conduct and keep on doing it Hmm? so pravrittim cha nivrittim cha jana na vidura asura viduhu asura na shaucham na api chacharo na shaucham they don't know about the purity they don't know what is uh, 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 you know the, the clean cleanliness for that matter clean not just the physical cleanliness the internal cleanliness that purity na shaucham na api cha achara na and also not what is the good conduct 
the right conduct, achara. They don't know anything about it. They don't know about purity. They don't know about morality. They don't know about the achara, the right conduct. They don't know about the dharma as such. What is the true way? And na satyam. They don't know what is truthfulness. Na satyam teshu vidyate. They don't even know what is truthfulness. For them, the falsity, the hypocrisy, the deceit, these are only the means of their survival. That is what they know. That is what they do. So this is these are some of the uh, traits that Sri Krishna is explaining to us in details about the demonical ways. The people who are uh, who who can never be on the path of liberation. They don't know what is action. They don't know what to refrain from. They don't know what is inaction for that matter. The uh, the, the doing anything without any selfish motive, they don't know. They don't even know what is not to be done. They don't know what is to be done. They don't know what is not to be done. They just slog hmm? with all the selfish motives. Their entire attitude towards work is how much I can take out of it. How much I can grab out of it, not considering whether others are suffering because of that action. That is not their outlook at all. Their only intent is grab, grab, grab. And they don't know anything about purity. What is the pure innate nature? They just don't have any clue. They don't even know of what is the right conduct. They don't even know what is the morality, what is the ethical way, they don't have any clue about it and they don't even know what is truthfulness because for them the path of uh, hypocrisy, the path of uh, you know, falsity, the conceit and deceit that is only their uh, understanding. How I can get anything, how I can survive, how I can benefit out of other people. That is the only intention that the person with demonical tendency has. Commendable acts are those which are conducive to the general welfare of humanity. That is what normally people who uh, 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 tend to uh, get onto the divine path, they, they, that's what they normally do. Any action, any action they do, because that is conducted with a selfless motive, it automatically results in doing good for others. Automatically. The moment that selfish motive is cut off from performing any action, that action becomes good for others. They are designated, those actions, they are designated as dharmic actions. Prohibited acts are those which deprave man and ruin his career. The immoral acts, they all deprive the human beings, they deprive uh, the, the traders on the path of attaining any kind of merit. There is no merit attached doing the prohibited acts. They are condemned as a dharma. The good always confirm to dharma. Animals are not altogether ignorant of dharma and adharma, even, even, even animals for that matter. Now, uh, it, it is, interestingly, it is only the human birth. In human birth, people try to uh, do things which they are not supposed to do. It doesn't happen with animals. Animals never try to harm anybody unnecessarily. You know, that, that unnecessarily. Animals, the, the, the predators especially, they will attack their prey only when they are hungry. If they are not hungry and if those prey they are in their vicinity, they don't even look. They may look fine, but they are not interested in killing them unnecessarily, in injuring them unnecessarily. It is only the human beings. Hmm? And therefore, even animals for that matter, they understand what is to be done, what is not to be done. What is to be done and when that is to be done. That animals very well understand. But the human beings they don't. The human beings, especially the ones with the demonical tendencies, they don't know it at all. 
unnecessarily they would keep on injuring others by thought words and deeds instinctively the animals understand what to do and what to refrain from even the people with animalistic tendencies for that matter they will know what to refrain from but people with the demonical tendencies they will never know men of the asura type are devoid of discrimination in this respect and this is that is what shri krishna is cautioning us don't pick up these unwanted traits don't pick up these unwanted habits of the demonical type of not knowing what is action not knowing what is inaction not knowing what to do not knowing what not to do and not knowing uh the the uh, purity not knowing about what is the good conduct not knowing about the truthfulness don't pick up these habits sir shri krishna says don't don't pick up these traits impure thoughts alone sprout in their minds of these asuri types it is only impurity it is only indignant it is only which is not good for others and even for the self their physical habits and doings are anything but clean because they don't have the concept of purity at all how to keep how to, how to keep the inner space clean it is not just taking bath uh, two times or three times a day and you know maintaining perfect uh, cleanliness outside no what about the internal purity outside you may be pure you may be clean you may be dirty but inside if it is not clean it is of no use at all the physical habits and doings are anything but clean utterances coming out from them are distorted diabolical and devoid of truth pollution of the entire personality it is a entire personality is what is found in them entire personality gets polluted not only just the external the internal personality the inner nature of these beings it gets polluted it gets totally impure and that starts resulting in their downfall so this is what shri krishna is uh, uh, cautioning us about and why do these uh, people they, they behave this way hmm? the justification they make betrays this disposition because they always have justification ready why they behave this way they say this is how i am born no this is not you how you were born any body with those demonical traits they will always give justification for their improper actions for their evil actions for their wretched actions they will say i was born this way no nobody is born that way every being is born as a clean slate with a clean heart with the purest of the pure heart and during the course of our growth during the course of our becoming into beings for that matter we pick up all those habits the good ones and the bad ones and that transform us either becoming into a devotional type into the divine type or to the demonical type so what we pick up on the path we have to be very very careful about never to pick up those six traits that shri krishna has told about the demonical types never to pick up these traits that shri krishna has is now explaining in great details of not knowing what to do not knowing what not to do of not knowing what is action of not knowing what is inaction let us not pick up let us clear ha- have that clarity in mind i have to do this i have to do this i have to do this and if i have to refrain from doing anything let me be away from that kind of action at any cost let me know what is purity let me know what is the cleanliness of this inner self of the inner matter of mine how to keep it clean let me know it let me learn it the purity aspect of our inner being and let us know what is truth what is the value of being truthful so this is what shri krishna is uh, cautioning us to be away from and let us uh, 
contemplate on these uh, uh, evil traits that Sri Krishna has told us and try to refrain from picking up any of those uh, demonical traits at all. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Sri Krishna Arpanamastu Jai Sri Ramakrishna Jai Thakur Jai Ma Jai Swamiji